Hello you all in this part of the lead acetate synthesis I am preparing copper acetate by reacting the previously made calcium acetate with copper sulfate. For this I weighed out 182 grams copper sulfate. This was then brought into hot solution. Next up I added the calcium acetate to my 2 liter beaker. And also dissolved it in warm water. This took some time and the solution was still a bit cloudy in the end. I then combined the two still warm solutions to perform the displacement reaction. In which the calcium 2 plus ion from the acetate gets switched out with the copper 2 plus ion. To form copper acetate and calcium sulfate. After some time you can see a cloudiness appearing. This is calcium sulfate immediately crashing out of solution when formed. This is then slowly sinking to the bottom of the beaker and creating some nice phase transfer images. Now what's left to do is filtering off the calcium sulfate and get your solution of copper acetate. I did this with a vacuum filtration but you can also use gravity filtration. You just have to wait a little bit longer for the gravity to do its thing. Additionally to say is that if you want to recover the calcium sulfate you have to wash it with hydrochloric acid to get rid of water insoluble side products. After the filtration you could just use the solution for the next step but I wanted to get a crystalline product. So I went on and gently boiled the mixture down until there were only nice crystals left. The variation of colors of the crystals are due to the hydration grades. Mostly water-free copper acetate is greenish whereas the more hydrated forms are bluish. After admiring the crystals for a while I crushed them down to get 78.4 grams of copper acetate with unknown hydration grade. I also wanted to inform you guys that I created an Instagram account named Hazelchem where I am posting frequently new stuff. And for the end here is a list of upcoming videos. I hope you liked it and if you want you can give me a like or subscribe to my channel. Have fun and do not kill yourself.